Good morning. Goedemorgen. Away, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all this morning? We are very well this morning. Want ons is baie opgewonde. You must put that in English. Nee, we, nou, are, we are nervously, deliciously <laughs> shaking. <laughs> yes. Two big things happening today. Point yeah. one. Yeah. Which is the first one, the biggest thing happening today. We're fetching our kids oh, from, the airport. from the airport. Our last kids are arriving in New Zealand and with the, all the babies and hubbies and all suitcases and everything else. And yep, they're arriving at about 11 o'clock at Auckland Airport. Yes. So we'll be there in Auckland Airport at 11 o'clock. Yep. So the and other big thing this morning is... We've got our first draw for the boat cruise. We're going to have two contestants drawn from the entries we received the last week. And we're going to draw them and we're going to announce them this morning. Um, I've had a few very interesting people uh, giving us uh, the re some even said reasons why they would love to go on the boat oh. cruise. Somebody just said, yeah, they a are. Who you mean with the who you are? He says he needs a holiday away from his 17 house problems. <laughs> and we must please not tell his wife if he wins. <laughs> oh my I wonder who he's gonna take because it's 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 a, a ticket for two. He's, he's gonna he's gonna use the whole space for himself, I'm sure. <laughs> Probably um, won't see him for four days. Oh, that's exciting. So that um Are we gonna be there at the end? Or you no, so that? somewhere in the middle. I oh, think okay. we should do that somewhere in the All middle. Right. Um but the boat cruise is there's two two tickets okay. or, or four tickets basically or two cabins yes. one cabin it will be the first price it will be the one that's got an ocean view and the one the other one is on the inside okay. so you don't have an ocean view that's the second price okay so but we'll do that draw let's in about 10 minutes or so this morning we we decided to talk about how expensive is new zealand re really there was a lot of discussion regarding this the past week on the internet and i thought i would chirp in here and ride on the back of that as well so yeah <laughs> give my 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 five cents to that um a few things in new zealand that i found which is more expensive point one and i think everybody would agree with me is the rentals mm. all right rental is gonna take most of your weekly salary yeah if of if only one person is working so mm. um you struggle to get a rental under 650. Uh, i've heard about people that has got a rental for yeah. 500 but that's extremely small and um, it's probably not in Tauranga. no it's not in Tauranga. um it's basically a one bedroom okay it's basically a one bedroom they got that for 500 dollars. so yeah. um that was let me just put this there that was the one that i that i know about um but anything between 650 and 850 is the norm and then it runs as, as high as you can think of so yeah. but i think you can work probably from 750 seven as as a, as a medium yeah, yeah. 750 to 850. especially if you in the auckland area i've got no idea what the house price no, is I, I talked to quite a few people regarding house prices and those i mean that's part of, of what i normally yeah. talk to and, and i've heard that, that even in the places that were all were always a little bit cheaper yeah, it's also expensive it's also yeah. getting more expensive mm. um so yeah that is the one thing that yeah. you your your but you must budget for high rental mm. and then and and you gotta be you gotta be not under i gotta say under your budget you, you gotta be open and say it could cost us let's say 850 and if you can get it under 850 you score but if otherwise uh you are going to pay a lot of money yeah. for a rental so um and that is definitely see. way more expensive than um oh wait, i'll shift this there we live in to book 760 per week four bedroom modern house but that smaller is, yeah that's a very good price that's very a very good very good price, price. Okay. Home. yeah so you can get them yeah you get but, them. um so let's say let's say 750 yeah. in that region 750 mm. um I, I doubt if you're actually going to get below 750. Yeah. Um, I just saw what my kids are renting down in Taronga, and that is not. Yeah. yeah. So I think prepare for around seven fifty. If you mm. get it cheaper, then good on you. Um, and then also just remember, for your first, your first rental amount will be about six times. Six times your, your weekly yeah. rental. So that so, is as, as a lump sum that you got to put down. That's for four weeks yeah. for the bond, uh, and, and two, two weeks, weeks upfront up payment. Yeah. So just keep that in mind as well. Mm. Keep that in your budget as well. Um, 
and it's, it's weird that they take two weeks up front because basically you're just living for free for two weeks now. Yeah, I don't know why they do it. I would rather say let's do the last two weeks for free. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes sense because now you can, can save a bit of yeah, money well, for the movie. Probably have to eat them, so <laughs> it, it's just it's just weird. I'm <laughs> gonna have a discussion about that. No, no, I just find that very amusing. I could never figure out <laughs> what what the thought was of yeah. that. So um then um I was, I was looking at house prices in South Africa and we had a house in South Africa. That house is now rented for 18,000 Rand per month. So that was a four bedroom. So if, if you compare, yeah, this is more, more expensive down here. Yeah. So definitely. Much more expensive. Um, and stuff like petrol, it's not very more expensive in New Zealand than in, in South Africa. But it is really expensive at the moment. It is a bit more expensive. Yeah, but South Africa is also about 25 yeah, or 26 Rand a litre. About New Zealand now. So, what do you pay for petrol now? I pay um, two two point six. Okay. That's about two point six okay. per liter. So, you, you got to shop around as well. Um, I, I mean, we've been to the South Island in December, and prices somewhere was absolutely shocking. Yeah. Really, absolutely shocking. And then you also must just keep your eyes open if you <coughs> shop at Pack and Save. Um, then you get a petrol voucher where you mm. get six cents off. Yeah, I got six cents off yesterday. So, so I normally just um, fuel up at back and save mm. unless I am really low on fuel. And, and you get you get an app in New Zealand called Gas Spy. Gas okay. Spy. The guys out there, click on that. It will recognize where you are and it will show you the, the nearest and the cheapest one to you. Okay. So you can also set it to the most expensive one if, you, if you've got too much money and stuff like that. So. Yeah. But yeah, they chose you the nearest and the cheapest one to you, and you can just do the extra two kilometers drive or five kilometers drive, whatever. Yeah, and just fill up, up a there. Yeah. Bit Especially if, if you've got an empty tank, um, yes. then taking in 40 or 50, sometimes I take in 100 liters, it makes a big difference on it that. Does. So, it does. and then probably food is the next big one. Now, you, you know a bit more about food. Um, I actually went <laughs> shopping yesterday. Did uh, you get a shock? No, not really. I, I did not get really a shock. I, I bought for three people for a week. But what did you buy? Just meat? No, no, I bought, I bought, <laughs> okay, I bought a rub this size. <laughs> so that the rub is going to be cut up and, okay. and, and yeah. make nice steaks off. But then I, I bought some cookies and I bought Tim Tims and I bought coffees and I bought uh, rices and all these type of things and so forth. So, okay. And, Came down to two hundred and forty odd dollars or so. I thought it was a bit expensive, but not. I didn't think it was crazy. Forty dollars. No, two hundred and forty dollars. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. I was just going to say what. Yeah. Um. So food. When we were still, we were in the um, we were in the fortunate position for a week. <laughs> It just be the two of us. Um, and our food bill um, for the week was around $180. For the week. For the week. Two people. Two people. But yeah. And I, I, I got to say this, um, you buy some smaller luxuries as well with that stuff like grapes and so forth. And all yeah. people I did not can buy skip. any cleaning products and I did not buy any liquor wine nothing okay. so that is just our food for the week so is it, a little is bit it, of is meat. a dry march for you yeah and we don't <laughs> actually eat bread so it was just the no there was i saw there was bread in the that's the not that's, that's not, not the that. budget okay. that i'm talking about okay. um so that was just meat vegetables <coughs> um fruit and milk and toilet paper okay. And that kind okay. of stuff. So that was $180. But when we were still full, we touched on $400 a week. Mm. Um, but because we were full adults. So I suppose when Thanks you... Thanks for sharing. Family of five to adults and three kids, four fifty per week. Yeah, includes was... cleaning products. Yes. Does not include eating out. No. Eating out is a total different budget. Yeah. I was total. just going to say, I think if you've got mm. kids... And it's like cool drinks and um, all the snacks break for school, food yeah. and all that. Then mm. I suppose you can end up at about four hundred and fifty. Yeah. So it is expensive. I think you can probably. I don't know if you're a big family, 
you can probably split and go to a vegetable mm -hmm. shop and buy big okay or you yeah. can buy with friends or something like somebody yeah, like buy, that. buy bulk and maybe mm. split it and then you can end yeah. up paying a little bit less but yeah i think that is what you're probably looking at so i mean if you count that all up you can see with your rent and your food and your fuel where you'll be yeah yeah you can do it for cheaper just remember something about fuel is fuel is it's only a thing that you use while you're traveling so if, if you're not traveling a lot you're not using a lot of fuel but for some people like me i travel a lot so i i use oh, well, a lot of fuel people have to get to work and back mm. but and, and the other thing is yeah if you just get to work and back but the one person will travel five kilometers mm. to work and back another one will sit for an hour in the traffic every morning an hour this tonight mm. so that's a bit different yeah. on fuel usage down there um but it's always interesting to to hear what uh, mariska says about uh, the food and the food prices and so forth mm. so the thing is what i've realized is if you buy your fruit and vegetables in season mm. then you can get away with it a little bit cheaper i mean when the i don't buy tomatoes in mm. the winter time because it's just i just can't i can't afford so, it name me name me three things that has gone really expensive in the last year it's gone really expensive yeah that is started off not too bad but it's very expensive now. mangoes you can't buy a mango okay, but that's because we import them it is ridiculous yeah. you, you can pay up to nine dollars for a mango okay um what has gone up the milk went up and then it came down again okay okay so um the milk is not really expensive at the moment mm. i think it's 190 for liter okay so that's not too expensive um what else did go up really the toilet paper went up with about a dollar per row. No man. Jesus, I was saying. <laughs> oh yes. Goodness me. Orange kumaras, um, when I wanted to buy the other day, was so expensive. I think it was like seventeen dollars a kilo. Seventeen. Seventeen dollars a kilo. Holy crap! So I just um, left and and all of a sudden i couldn't get orange kumaras so i asked and they said no it's out of season so that's why it was expensive it wasn't somebody just thinking it was golden kumaras. but it is um back on the shelves now okay. and it is a little bit cheaper yeah. but yeah. way less or just a um bit? like nine dollars a kilo so it's okay. way less so that it's, it's still it's still not not in season somebody just no, saying no fresh veg is expensive fresh vegetables is expensive mm. are expensive but um, if you buy for a family, I mean, you know what fills up a family. Yeah. So if you buy potatoes and carrots, um, then it's not that expensive. Mm. And now when the um, corn was in season, yeah. corn was really cheap and we just love mm. corn, but it's going out of season. I'm going to take this one. Yes. They say rump steak is cheaper than in South Africa. I fully agree. We'd be buy bulk rump these days at $9.90 per kg. Mm. And we cut that up the size we want it exactly so mm. if i want this thick a rump i cut it that way if i want th thinner rump for you that eats your meat mm. really sacrificed then i cut it thinner so that's what makes it nice uh tomatoes are really that expensive not at the moment at, at the moment it's cheap it's like mm. a dollar something for a kilo so it's really uh, cheap at the moment but in winter times it's um you can pay up to eight nine dollars a kilo of tomato so yeah. i just don't buy it in winter so, what many people do sorry no that's they, what i wanted to ask yeah. you what else they buy tomatoes when it's in season and then they um make a sauce of it and freeze mm -hmm. it so then when you need it in um yeah. in winter time you can just well, otherwise you can just buy those, those those little things I actually bought, I think, a tin yeah. for one dollar yesterday. And when I make a salad in winter time, I just leave the tomatoes out. Yeah. I just leave it, put okay. something else in. So, all right. This is just Mariska van Niekerk asking how are the meat prices compared to South Africa? Also depends where you buy. I, I've got to put this out. It mm -hmm. depends where you buy. Um, as I said, rump, $9.90. Uh, I, I also uh, bought a rump yesterday at, at Pack and Save, which is different from where I normally buy. It was just as cheap. It was a massive rump like this about. Let me get that. Yeah. And that was about sixty-two dollars. Yeah. Um so. we had people from South Africa here for a few weeks now, 
And they said that the meat prices compare really well to South Africa. Okay. So I don't know what it is in South Africa, what it costs at the moment mm. in South Africa. But um, I don't find the meat prices really expensive. No. And if, um, the, if say, lamb is really expensive at the mm. moment, then you just buy chicken or when, right. or, you know, or so, beef or whatever else. Yeah, just, and what does Burewolf cost? I haven't, I haven't made that sum. Uh, I actually forgot the other day to look. I think Burewolf is about sixteen dollars a kg. Yes. Yeah, about. that's about yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Somebody just saying they get home killed. That's from a farm. Beef is delicious. You can share with other families. You need a freezer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We often get a loose cow somewhere. Mm. So and that also. makes sense. If you can share with another family, then you'll definitely end up. Um, Is somebody also somebody. who knows who don't, who don't know how to cook real meat? It's <laughs> <laughs> so a sacrifice of meat like you. You know what? I can I can say now, um, we eat much less meat. Yeah, than we did in South Africa. Um, especially on the price. Um, in South yeah. Africa, you used to buy everything you could find in the shop. Yeah, now we'll buy a society yeah. and, a, and a Buddha Walsh. And, and that's what we did over the weekend. Yeah. There was quite a few people and down here. enough food. We just And there was know, actually a lift. The Buddha Morse with the food, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> because we, we would buy some sardines, we would buy rum steak, we would buy Buddha Morse yeah. and ribs and then and, chicken. And um, sometimes, say twice a week, I um, cook without meat. We just eat yeah. vegetarian food. So, and it's delicious. You can make a really nice pasta um, with just. I, I'm a veggies. I'm a meat eater, and I, I I'm, I've got to say, the, the nights without um, the meat, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So you just got to do it right. Yeah. So you must just um, yeah, you'll manage. Oh, oh, you'll shop, manage. Can we do it? What? Can we do it? Are oh, you going to do that now? Yeah. Let me just get this thing right here. I'm the one that <laughs> Like so much fun, right? Eh? Alright, that's just a bit of what is going to happen, yeah. and we are going to draw two people now. Okay, there so. were 118 entrances yep. up to the, up to now. You're going to draw two, but everyone that's in that list and everyone that still needs to enter will be in the draw every time yeah okay. okay except if you are on the short list okay I think then we not. take then it out yeah. but so, i mean so you still have if we draw today you know you, you basically you have, a chance have a chance in the draw every time we do a draw okay we won't have um a draw next week we won't have a 30 minutes with you next week um i'm in an area where the reception will be not that good so sorry about that but let's go. We've got 818 entries, and we're going to generate a random number with a Google random number generator. And lucky number 84. Let's see who's number 84. Uh, number 84 down here is Gerard Geldenhuis. Gerard Geldenhuis. Okay, that's number. Marking orange or green or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Number 84. Let's just write that down on the way. Don't want to waste time. So, number 84. Okay. Going to do that. Let's generate another number. Next number we generated is number 47. Mm -hmm. Let's go down to 47. Colin Redman. Colin Redman. Oh, nice. All right, 47. Guys, that was uh, the two draws we did for our cruise competition. So, the so if you are in the draw with us, um, you can either be a winner of the first price which is a cabin overlooking the ocean or a cabin uh, inside so what is going to happen as well uh, the wife bullied me so i'm taking her with as well <laughs> <laughs> i didn't bully you <laughs> okay now no, she's going to go with us so yeah she's going to go with us so that was our first two uh, people in the in the draw for the cruises um Going back to what does it cost in New Zealand? Rian Pretoria is saying their monthly household that's with two adults and three teenagers, and teenagers they eat a lot. $150 <laughs> per, for groceries and household items. Um, they have a further budget of about $100 for personal items and eating out and socials. Eating out and socials, not idea. included there. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Um, so yeah, that is what you're looking at about yeah. 450 dollars on yeah, and I and I know that they won't be spending like crazy. They yeah. you know, they'll budget nicely. So, so yeah, yeah, real is real is actually a guy that, that will write his budget down and have a spreadsheet yeah. for that. And so so we can go on that. So okay, Charles uh, is also saying keep in mind that the house rental is a price, but then you also have to budget for power well, uh, and gas. Yeah, sometimes for gas, sometimes not for gas, uh, depending on where you are. I've got no idea what the um, electricity uh, Electricity is. differs, um, depending on, it's once again one of those things, how much you use. Okay. If you are going to run heaters the whole day or air cons the whole day, it's going to cost you more. Um, to give you an idea, when we are four to five people in this household and we use a lot of electricity, we are in the region of about 400 to 500 dollars per month okay but it, i must say we've got four acorns i run my offices from here now we've got five acorns yeah but we don't we use three of them mostly. Yeah, yeah three of them is mostly so used. mostly on winter and summer yeah. and i use my tumble dryer every day and the hair dryers yeah so and, and everything all that, heats, stuff that heats yeah. you know that they take so, a lot of but I've, I've spoken to people who get away with about hundred to fifty dollars per month, mm -hmm. um, and they use the aircon sparingly, to be called, if you call it that. So, okay. yeah, it's all it's all about how much you use. Mm -hmm. The same petrol, aircon, all these user things. Yeah. Um, somebody just said something here. I want to go back to that. Somebody just said something about the all cars are subject to road user charges this year, including plug and play hybrids. Yeah. Um, Plug and play. What did you say? It's like plug, plug and play. Plug the thing in, otherwise you can't play with it. So, uh, plug and hybrids is, is is this year, and electric cars will um will also be hit with a a a, a rock or what they call road user charges, mm. as well as diesels. So diesel has got it already on, but soon they will have the plug in hybrids and the um electric cars as well. Your normal hybrids won't have that. It doesn't it should just not be plugged in at all so okay this we on again electricity standard household 300 to 400 dollars per month depending on the season no econ but you use the heat pump in winter tumble dry daily so yeah. that is what you're looking at about 400 to so i'm not feeling too bad about yeah. us using that yeah so all the people that's always saying this will be my salary will i be able to survive you can add all these up and see where you yeah. where you end up and it's, it's important to do that. It's important to, to come with an open mind to New mm. Zealand and to say, yes, it is going to be a bit more expensive probably than what I was used in South Africa, but you are earning dollars down here. Yeah. That's a big thing. Yeah. So your dollar is really a strong currency. And I, I have been, I, I have found, and I found it with a lot of people that I speak to, they all say um, that people um, are earning a bit more and have a bit more left over at the end of the month. In, in order to save. Mm. So another thing that I want to just touch on uh, vehicles. Mm. Uh, you can get a good second hand vehicle for a good price here. If you uh, do if, if you finance a vehicle mm. um, and call me stupid. Yeah, I don't know how they that differs from the South African side, but I find it way easier to pay off a vehicle here than in South Africa. Okay. It's just it, it, once you pay it off, you can actually see it drop down. Okay. One in South Africa, you, you pay rent and rent, or I mean, interest and interest for, for how long before the price of the vehicle goes yeah. down. So, okay. Rini is also saying same as. Um, so, Rini has also got $300 to $400 yeah. per month. They also have family of four. Mm. So, yeah, I think that's what we can go on then. So, um, um, just last thing on cars, yes. uh, new cars I found, and I've, I've done I've done the homework really well. Um, new cars are cheaper in New Zealand than in South Africa, okay. and I don't understand why because we are much smaller country. And we import, import much is, less. Yeah, but our import should actually be more. It should be way more. It should be because way more expensive yeah. down here than in South Africa because in South Africa if, if you sell thousands of one type of car, mm -hmm. while here you probably sell hundreds of them. So. Mm. I, I don't understand why, but anyway, that's just me. What else is there that we can kind of just compare? What else is um, a necessity? Uh, I was gonna, uh, HJJ Jackson just saying he knows that living cost is expensive and it's everywhere like that on New Zealand, as long as you are safe and healthy. Yep. I said he said he's very happy or dankbar to be in New Zealand. Yeah. Mr. Jackson, I fully agree with you. I fully agree with yeah. you. Yeah, the thing is, 
either you struggle financially in South Africa or you struggle a little bit in New Zealand, yeah. but at least you've got a lot more going for you. And we've got power 24 Zealand. hours a day in New Zealand. That is um, one thing. That's a big difference. I'm thinking what else is a necessity that we have not touched? School fees. I've got no idea about school fees. I really wish we can talk to someone to just give us... Yeah, as far as I know, school fees are, are non-existent. Actually, it's just a type of... Um, a donation. A donation. Know, but there, give, is yeah. a, there is an amount... Um, linked to that yeah i'm not just, just not brian sure. coming in saying is his electricity is 250 dollars a month for two adults i got two air, air cons on most of the time because both of them work from home uh yeah so, we we do that too yeah um yeah when we're alone we should be able to get it a little bit down but we never I, alone. I also think we, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we've been alone now for a full three days <laughs> <laughs> but it, i love it yeah, yeah. Three days on our own, and from tonight, everything changes. Then it's three little kids running around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You've things, got five minutes to tell yeah. people something. I know it's not an assist, although it should be a necessity for the ladies to get your hair done. To just, even if it's just a cut. Yeah. Um, just to look after yourself a little bit. Nails, not a necessity. Facials, not a necessity, although it should be. Um, but I think hair is probably... So what does what what a good hair, hair cut um, I know it differs, and I know a lot of people are not going to agree with me, but you look at an eye pay around between $140 and $160 for a cut, color, and, and sometimes um, highlights. That costs between $140 and $160? Yeah. Okay, if I cut hair, it costs about between twenty and thirty dollars. Mm. Although I think my hairdresser is a bit undercharging. No, be, she's definitely. To be quite frank, I think she's undercharging. I think she's cutting off her own throat. Yeah. I have told her to increase the prices, but. Oh, she's one <laughs> no, of those she's, she's just a dear, yeah. dear person. So yeah. <laughs> um. So and Rian also saying cutting hair is expensive. Why do you pay for your hair, Rian? Yeah, come on, Rian, let's tell us. Yeah. Mr. Jackson saying, um, our son is in a private Christian school. We pay per term almost $1,000. That's an interesting yeah. one. Yeah. I was wondering about that because I've heard so that about it's four about grand money. per year. Yeah. 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 For private school. Not, is it really expensive? It's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. I, I saw what private schools cost in South Africa the other day. Mm -hmm. And I was actually thinking, geez, you will sell a house just to do that. So, yeah. It's that's hectic. Yeah, that's I was wondering hectic. about that. Mm. Um, Rini, you give a donation once of a year per child, and I give a hundred dollars. Okay, so just donation once per year, hundred dollars. Okay, that's not okay. too bad. Thanks, Rini. That's not too bad. And let's yeah. let's go back to to schools. The bit that I know about schools and the bit that I saw about schools, it's not that they've got a a, a worse um. How can I say? Then you're not worse off in school here than in South Africa. It's not lesser of a school because it's for free no <laughs> no um and then of course school clothes you probably I, I know that that is quite expensive so yeah. you probably have to oh there we go yeah. household motor insurance how much is that depend on the on, on the household and how much and the car mm. here is a big one this stuff is expensive boats not a necessity. Not it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It is. Otherwise, I would be in your hair the whole time. <laughs> Somebody is saying $100 per, ter per, per, per term. Oh, that's what I thought. Per was in the hair. Okay. That's per kid. So $20 paper donation. So Just go down to kindergarten. There's someone that said something about kindergarten. Kindergarten, 260 per week under three year olds. I've also heard it go up it to $300 expensive. per week for under I three know years that old. is really expensive. But over three years, they get 20 hours or something like 20 that. 20 hours. Free. I know these are things they decide when and where or whatever, mm. but I've, oh, I really don't. I'm so sorry they that say, I really don't know. Hair is so expensive. I used to do my hair and get a pity on the regular in SA, not so anymore. Budget is a reality in yeah. New Zealand, better life. Yep, it's definitely better life. Yeah. Let's pop that one up there. We are in Hamilton, New Zealand. Our son is in year 11, free schooling. Saves a lot of money. Yeah, it does. So you save on stuff that you um, probably don't know that you will save yeah. on. 
yeah, until you're in the system and you know how everything yeah. works. But I'm also saying that boats and caravans is a bit more expensive than in South Africa. It is, but I just think it's different, differently built down here as well. So yeah, uh, that's my. The caravans that you get in South Africa won't work in New Zealand. Won't work in New Zealand. Be quite the New Zealand and Australia, Australian caravans um, have double glazed windows mm. and they really. You can, you can park in the snow with a caravan. Yeah. I won't try that with a South African yeah. caravan. All right, uniform is about thirty-five dollars per item, but almost the same in SA. Okay, things. okay, right. so it's not. Thanks for that. On that sure. note, we gotta say goodbye. Oh my word, we are Time has leaving flown. in half an hour to the Auckland Airport to pick up our kids. <laughs> I am so excited. I can't believe she slept last night, but she <laughs> did. <laughs> Guys and girls, thanks again. Um, next week we won't be here. The week after we will be here, and we'll do another live draw next the week thereafter for no two other people to join us on the on the boat cruise until then stay well and budget 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 i will draw up i think i'm gonna draw up a budget for her okay <laughs> see you all bye bye, bye. bye.